Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Rahul. Today we are solving another exciting problem that is length of longest Fibonacci sequence from lead code. This problem is great for improving problem solving skills for FANG interviews. We will cover the problem statement, different approaches and why we use the optimal one. Then we will implement the solution in Java and I will explain it step by step. Finally, we will analyze its time and space complexity to see why this one is efficient. So let's start. Before starting, if you are new here, subscribe my channel for new DSA contents and coding. If you have any feedback or any comments, ping me. I will be happy to reply. So let's start. Here is our problem. We have a strictly increasing array of positive indices. So our task is to find the longest subsequence that follows a Fibonacci like pattern where sum of first two means sum of the two previous elements gives the next one. That's the thing we have to do. And second condition is at least three elements are needed. So, if you go through this example, you will get to know here the longest subsequence that Fibonacci is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, which means 1 plus 2, 3, then 2 plus 3, 5, 3 plus 5, 8, like that here. Here 1 plus 3, not 7, 3 plus 7, not equal to 11, but 1 plus 11 is total like that it given which is the longest subsequence is 3 so i hope you understand what i meant so before we start the coding let's discuss the different way to approach this problem as usual the first way is brute force approach so in order to generate all subsequence and check if the if they follow Fibonacci like condition it will take time complexity up to big of 2 raised to n which make it too slow for large inputs and it become exponential so for because of this thing we are using the optimized approach that is combi combined two-pointer and dynamic programming so here we use two pointers to efficiently search for valid pairs and dynamic programming to track the longest valid subsequence <coughs> so combining these the time complexity will make big of n square so this one will become efficient for large inputs now let's start so here is our method then longest fib sequence subsequence with an input array so first of all i need to take the length of the array so int n is equal to length once i done this i need to initialize one dp array to store the length of the Fibonacci like sequence so int dp is equal to new end of the size should be same as the array now I need one variable to store the longest Fibonacci like sequence we found so int max length is equal to zero so once we've done this we need to iterate over the elements but we will start from the third element because as you know we have to treat it as the potential end of a Fibonacci like sequence 4 int 
current is equal to 2 current less than n then increment sorry now we have to assign our two pointers so we will do start which is the left pointer and we will use the value 0 for that because as you know it is the starting in 1 then end which is the right one so current minus 1 here we adjust these pointers to find the numbers that sum up to array of current now we have to check the Fibonacci condition so that we have to go till uh, the left should be less than right that is start should be less than end while till that it has to work so we will assign another variable where sum which is equal to we will compute the sum of array of start and array of end okay now we have to check some condition in order to adjusting pointers so if the sum is too large we have to move the end first if the sum is too small we have to move start to the right <coughs> so if person greater than array of current then nothing just decrement end if if it got reverse means person is less than array of current then increment start we have one more condition so else here we have to extend the Fibonacci like sequence for that we will use the we have to update the uh, DP array and current should be equal to is is equal to start and and plus one so here it's nothing we are extending the sequence length once this done we have to update the max length then okay one second okay we already have sorry okay max length we have to update it we will use the mat.max method Review of end current or max run. Okay. Once this done, we have to move both pointers to explore other sequence. So 
once we done those we have to decrement end and incre increment start okay so once this done we have to return our answer come out of the loop return so here if max len is equal to 0 we have to return 0 otherwise we have to return max len plus 2 which means uh, the in initial, element, initial two elements will be counted that's why we are using uh, addition additional two that's it let's run this code It's working so here the time complexity because big of n square and space complexity also big of n square because we are using that dpra so why this one is efficient because we are using optimized two pointer search and big of n square complexity as well as the dynamic programming for reuse of previous result just submit this one yeah okay that's it we solve the length of longest fibonacci subsequence using a smart two pointer and I mean dynamic programming approach here the key takeaways are brute force is too slow so avoid that one use two pointer with dynamic programming for optimal efficiency the complexity is big of n square which make this approach feasible for large inputs so like share and subscribe if you found this helpful hit the bell icon for future notifications so happy coding see you next one